I have a Yamaha XVS 950 V-Star motorcycle. It is now winter and I've had problems starting the motorcycle. The battery is probably about six years old, so that doesn't surprise me. Even after I freshly charged the battery, it will drain very fast when I try and start the motorcycle. So join me in this video as I use a battery tester to test the battery and replace it in any case. Let's make a start. I'll remove the uh, existing battery. The battery terminals have bolts with Allen key heads in them. I have the German Weirer Allen key set. I will need the 5mm Allen key. And I'll first unscrew the positive terminal from the battery before I remove the negative terminal. Now I remove the negative terminal. Be careful not to lose the retaining nut inside. Now I have to loosen the rubber strap that holds the battery in. There you go. And we should be able to slowly remove the battery here we are this is not the original battery it's a replacement battery the original battery is a USA YTZ14S this is a power volt nano gel 12 volt 12 mR I have here my Matson DHC BTJ41 battery tester. This tester suits valve regulated lead acid batteries like this. So tester connected to the battery. The battery spec says it's 12 volt 12 mRs. I can begin the test. It says the battery is 12.58 volts. Press enter to continue. The type is valve regulated lead acid so I'll press enter. I can set the battery capacity. I have set it to 12 mR which is the same as that printed on the battery. If I press the arrow keys up and down, it will change the capacity. So I'll keep it at 12 mR and press enter. It's testing, it says good and recharge. It measures 121 SAE cold cranking amps. In the user menu for the motorcycle, the recommended battery, the USR, YTZ14S has a cold cranking amp capacity of 230 cold cranking amps. So this is half of the recommended cold cranking amps and because the battery is about six years old and I have had problems starting the motorcycle in the winter, I will replace this battery. I will put another YouTube link where I review this battery tester. Have a look in the description. This is the replacement battery I just bought today, Predator brand YTZ14-BS with 11.2 mRs and 230 cold cranking amps. So the specs for this are exactly the same as the original USR YTZ14S battery. I'll open it up and you see what it looks like and then we'll use the battery tester to test this replacement. User menu spacer box with uh, nuts and bolts for the terminals and the battery let's connect the uh, battery tester to this battery tester is connected to the new replacement battery reach 12.75 volts press enter it is a valve regulated lead acid battery so press enter it is rated at 11.2 mRs and I've set it as 11 mRs on the tester. Press enter. It says good and pass. 12.74 volts, 260 SAE cold cranking amps. So in fact, the cold cranking amp capacity of this new replacement battery is double that of the old battery I'm replacing. And that's why the old battery had problems starting because it's only half the strength of what the specification is 230 cold cranking amps so the replacement battery is in good health let's put the replacement battery in positive terminal to the positive contacts seems a little tight but does go in just means when i have to pull it out it'll be a challenge 
Okay, I have a problem fitting this connector to the terminal because on the connector there is this side wall but on the replacement battery that wall gets blocked going down fully so I have to either cut it or bend it I will attempt to bend it instead using a pair of pliers and just bending it flush hope that works yeah that works I'll have to do the same thing and bend this on the uh, negative terminal okay you can see that it's bent upwards now and that will fit alright just a little bit of customization I have one two three positive cables to connect I will put the bolt through first so that it's easier to hold it there get my allen key and see if I can connect to the retaining nut at the bottom the bolt is biting into the nut that's good I think that should be tight enough now to connect the negative terminal put the retaining nut into the negative terminal yup it's in place get the bolt for the uh, negative terminal and connect to the two cables and then push it through to catch the uh, nut on the underside screw it and uh, hope that it catches the nut yes the bolt is tightened so it means that it's caught onto the nut on the underside I think that should be tight enough I've just got a piece of rubber to slip around the positive terminal that should uh, provide some protection against uh, accidental short circuit contact this is the tool kit put the tool kit back into this tiny slot really tiny there now to slip the rubber strap back on so it holds the battery in place there's a hook on the sides there now to pull this side and secure this strap on the left side of the battery done the strap is secure right the replacement battery is all installed i will now start the motorcycle just to test I've replaced the motorcycle battery it tests okay I do hope you enjoy this video do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more and to help the channel grow thank you so much